Hello, welcome to the Tenorshare channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to reset iPad without password and Apple ID. When you forgot the passcode, you can do a reset to remove it, but if Find My has been enabled, you'll run into activation lock in the setup process. If you are given the device or purchased it second hand, or you forgot the Apple ID or password, this video will help you bypass the activation lock and get straight to the home screen. With this being said, let's jump in. The first thing we want to do is reset. To reset, launch iTunes, and connect your iPad to the computer. Then put it into recovery mode, for an iPad with home button, is to press and hold both the top and home button until you see the connect to computer screen. Then iTunes should detect the iPad, and suggest you update or restore it. Just a reminder, if you have difficulty restoring your device with iTunes. I recommend Ryboot as a workaround. All you need to do is click on the factory reset iPhone button, and follow the instructions to continue. So go ahead and click restore. then agree to the terms and service. iTunes will be downloading the iOS firmware to this computer, and start restoring the iPad as soon as it completed. OK. Now it says your iPad has been restored to factory settings, and is restarting. Soon, you'll see it's telling you this iPad is linked to an Apple ID, and you need to enter the account information to set it up. Now let's give it a try. OK, the iPad is showing you exactly the same message as iTunes, you need to enter the Apple ID and password to continue. Here I'll show you how to bypass the screen when you forgot this information. So let's quit iTunes and launch for me key, and plug your iPad back to the computer. Then hit start. Read the terms and hit next to proceed. Now it says you'll need to jailbreak the device. Go ahead and click on the tutorial. It shows you step by step how to jailbreak an iPhone on Windows. First download the Checkrine ISO file. Then the Rufus file. Once completed, run Rufus. And then plug a blank USB thumb drive into the computer. Once recognized, hit select. And select the Checkrine ISO file. Now hit start to burn the bootable disk. Check the write in DD image mode option. And click OK to continue. Once done, close Rufus. Then restart the computer. When the computer restarts, press F12 to enter BIOS setup. Once in, select USB storage device. Then hit start. The device will be put into recovery mode first, hit next to proceed. Hit start. Then follow the instructions to put the iPad into DFU mode before each countdown is over. For an iPad with home button, is to press and hold both the top and home button for 4 seconds, then release the top button while continue holding the home button for another 10 seconds, the screen should remain black. Now it's jailbreaking the device.
Well done, now let's unplug the USB drive, restart the computer, and then start removing the activation lock. So launch for me key once again. This time you'll see the start remove button, once confirmed the device information. Click on it to continue. The removal will be done in seconds. Ok, now let's check it out. When you see this data and privacy screen, you know the activation lock has been removed from the iPad. Let's go ahead and set it up. Not only did it get you to the home screen, it logged out the Apple ID as well. Now you can sign in your own Apple ID in settings, iTunes and App Store, and install app from App Store. That's it. Thanks for watching. For me key is a paid software. Here are all the plans for you. Good for commercial or personal use. To download, check out the link in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumb up, and subscribe to this channel to help it grow. See you later in the next video, cheers.